so a point is a 30 mm above x y line okay is the plan view is a is a plane view of uh, two points p and q and the elevation of p is 45 mm above hp while that of the point q is 35 mm below the hp draw the projections of the points and state their positions with reference to the principal planes and the quadrants in which they lie okay so let us understand the question first and then we shall proceed okay so we we have two points so let us draw a next y reference line we need to draw for two points okay so accordingly let us have an x y let us have the vertical plane and this is going to be our horizontal plane x y reference line so according to the question here a point 30 mm above x y line so this is our x y line so above x y line there is a point so above x y line we had a point okay which is at a distance of 30 mm so this is 30 mm okay so is the plan view is the is the plane view of two points p and q whenever we find plan view okay plan view is nothing but top view so plan view is nothing but top view so the top view of p and top view of q so top view of p and q is nothing but small p comma small q so that is the this point is going to be the plan view of two points p and q now next we have the elevation of p elevation is nothing but height that is above okay so the elevation of uh, p is 45 mm above the hp so he is saying that above hp above hp in the sense we need to consider the reference planes so above hp in the sense either the point it can be over here or the point can be over here anywhere else here so the point is p and the point is p and the distance he has given is 45 mm above so 45 mm here 45 mm here we already got the top view we need to find the front view only okay so let us see the front view in this manner or else in this manner if i see here i'm going to get p dash over here okay what is the distance it is going to be 45 mm even if i view in this manner i'm going to get the same p dash so p dash is going to lie on x y on the vertical plane that is above x y it is about 45 mm so from x y so measure the distance and extend it about 15 mm so this is going to be p dash which is at a distance of 45 mm so we got p p dash so one point is done now let us go for the point number q so here while that of the point q is 35 mm below the hp okay so the point uh, q is 35 mm below hp so 35 mm below hp in the sense so this is point q it can be below 35 over here or as 35 over here we don't know exactly 35 so if i see the front view either in this way or as front view in this manner i'm going to get over here q dash and this distance is going to be 35 mm so the front view is coming below x y reference line so below x y reference line <clears throat> this is our front view q dash which is at a distance of 35 mm from the x y reference line so finally we are done with the projections so these are the two projectors on the same ground line so p p dash is one projector q q dash is the another projector here we can directly see that p p dash are okay both are away from the x y reference line so they lie in the air so they lie in air in the sense either over here or else here so let us check here so front view p dash that is above x y reference line yes it agrees and if i see the top view it is going to be projected here so when i rotate the horizontal plane the q p is going to go downwards do we have p downwards no so point p doesn't belongs to the first quadrant so let us check the second one so front view p dash that is above x y yes if i see top view it is going to be p over here so once we rotate it upwards so this part is going upwards so p is going to move above x y p is going to move above x y so this is the required coordinate 
okay so let us write about point p point p belongs to belongs to second quadrant it because belongs to second quadrant so according to the second quadrant it is going to be above and behind so above hp and behind vp so above hp is equal to how much distance and behind vp is equal to how much distance we need to find so this distance is already 45 and from xy reference line this is p and from xy reference line what is the distance of p so from xy reference line the distance of p is about 30 mm so this distance is going to be 30 mm so this part is moving upwards above hp so above hp is going to be 45 mm and this distance is coming backward that is behind vp so this is 30 mm behind vp so we have finally found p belongs to second quadrant above hp 45 mm behind vp 30 mm so let us see the final uh, final one okay so now let us write about the point point q so here even point q uh, none of the projections are on the x y reference line so that is the point q lies in the air either in the fourth quadrant or else in the third quadrant so let us check let uh, if i keep it in the fourth quadrant front view and top view front view is going to be q dash below x y as below x y we have and if i see the top view q is going to be over here and on rotating q will come down okay so we have q upwards so this is not the required quadrant so it should be the next quadrant so let us see the front view q dash below x y yes it is true and if i see the top view top view is going to be projected over here so on rotating the particular horizontal plane q moves upwards that is above x y so q is present above x y so point q belongs to the quadrant so the point q belongs to third quadrant now according to the third quadrant it is below hp and behind vp so below hp is equal to how much distance and behind vp is equal to the dash mm okay so this distance is coming downwards so below below hp so below hp is nothing but 35 mm and this distance is coming backward so this is going to be 30 mm behind so we are completely done with the projections of points hope everyone understood the complete task thank you so much guys